Hi everybody, I'm Dave Strong, and this is Aaron Levine, and we're here from the Schmidt Music Saxophone Shop. Today we are going to be doing our first video of tips and tricks. Pretty exciting stuff, yeah. and uh, we figure we start off the series with uh, a little video about how to clean your mouthpiece for all you germaphobes out there. Um, it's the first thing you're blowing into, so we definitely want to make sure that it's clean. Mm. Um, I've seen some unclean mouthpieces in my oh, day, yeah. and it's it's not very pretty. So few. we're gonna help you guys out with some basic tips today. We're not gonna go super deep, just some quick things that Dave and I do in the shop here, even um, just to keep the mouthpieces clean. Yeah. So we'll be talking about a few methods. Uh, one is this green stuff called Mighty Mist. The second is this pink stuff called Sterosol, and part three will be good old fashioned soap and water. Always works. Yeah. So let's cool. let's talk through. Starting with, as I said, this Mighty Mist stuff. This stuff can be great. This stuff uh, is great for cleaning a metal mouthpiece. Uh, it'll work well on a plastic mouthpiece. But somewhere in the fine print on here, it says do not use on hard rubber. And uh, there's a really good reason for that. Uh, Aaron, what happens when you put Mighty Mist on hard rubber? Um, it completely destroys your mouth. No, it doesn't completely destroy your mouthpiece. Mm. It'll but, still um, work, but you right. probably don't want it anywhere near your face. <laughs> yeah, definitely don't spray it directly in your eyes. Uh, <laughs> what it can do is that hard rubber contains uh, sulfur naturally, and uh, you can do things to your mouthpiece that will leach the sulfur out of the mouthpiece. Um, I mean, things like leaving it out in sunlight is obviously not good, but another thing that can cause this to happen is if you use alcohol on the mouthpiece, they can leach out the sulfur, and that's when you get that kind of um, you call it a rotten egg, rotten kind of, egg kind of, kind of smell. smell. I think we're all familiar, uh, saxophone players, of what uh, that is. It's pretty gross. <laughs> yeah, and that happens because some people are cleaning their mouthpieces incorrectly over time, and uh, basically it uh, leaches that sulfur out, and you get that nasty smell. So, and that's why we have the pink sterosol. So this stuff will not damage your hard rubber saxophone mouthpiece. And it's still good to use on metal and plastic, I think, as well. Right, uh, definitely. But it's especially good for hard rubber, huh? Yes. Um, so this stuff, did a little research. This has a fancy chemical in yeah, it. Yeah, you're going to try to pronounce actually, it again here? I'm going to actually look we'll, at this. We'll put it on the screen for you yep, as well. It's called uh, hexatidine. Hexatidine. Yeah, tell me if, if there's any like English experts or doctors out there if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly. I'm sure we're Please butchering it. Please let us know in the comments. <laughs> hexatidine. Um, but this is the main ingredient in this stuff. For those that didn't know, this is actually an uh, antibacterial, antifungal agent that is used in both uh, veterinary hmm. veterinary, and human yeah, <laughs> medical products. <laughs> so, yeah, it's like a local anesthetic um, deodorant. Hmm. Um, not that kind of deodorant. But, uh, yeah. Not, maybe I would, it is, actually. Yeah, you wouldn't <laughs> want to replace this with your normal, normal uh, uh, Arm & Hammer or whatever deodorant that you use. But uh, this is good, especially if you're like a teacher or someone who works in a shop for us or even anyone at home that wants to quickly clean your mouthpiece without damaging your hard rubber mouthpiece. It's, right. a, it's a good option. So we're going to do a quick demonstration. Yeah, let's, let's show if, it off here. So I'm going to take the Sterosol, going to take a hard rubber Van Doren mouthpiece here and apply it liberally and make a big mess here. There you go. Make sure get to get your hands middle. too so you can get some of the bacteria. Yeah. <laughs> Normally, I'd be doing this over a sink, but hey, you know, I'd like to live dangerously. Work, work with what you got. So, I just broke rule number one, so we're going to back up. I'm going <laughs> to spray yeah. it, and somewhere in the fine print there, it says, leave it on there for two minutes. So, we're going right. to spray it again. I'm going to make a big mess again. All right, what we're going to do here, we're going to set, set a, a timer, timer for two minutes, and uh, we'll see you guys in a sec. Ooh, oh, okay. Okay. Oh, it's a two-minute oh. alarm. <laughs> Welcome back. Um, okay, how's it oh, going? Yeah. yeah, it's still a little wet, so I'm gonna I'm gonna wipe it down, get the sterosol off of there, and I'll push a little bit through there through the middle to get all the interesting things that tend to yep. build up on the inside of mouthpieces. Yep. If you get haven't sure cleaned you your mouthpiece inside. for a while, it's a uh, be ready for a surprise. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> be all kinds of stuff in there. And then after this, uh, there's one more step, and that's to rinse it off in some lukewarm water. Again, lukewarm uh, doesn't mean hot. Hot water can do all those same bad things, and it can also mm -hmm. warp the mouthpiece a little bit. But that's yeah. it. It's pretty easy and smells nice, smells clean, doesn't smell <laughs> like a rotten egg, uh, at least not too much. So. 
Okay guys, now into option three, we're gonna talk about the classic method of simply using some lukewarm water and uh, mild detergent. Yeah, a dropper to a dish soap uh, works really well, especially if it's an antibacterial one. Yeah. Um, and kind of same thing uh, as the last step of this, just make sure to get uh, get the detergent all the way through it, rinse it under the lukewarm water, and pat it dry. And, uh, and that, that works really well, and that's you don't have to go out and get any special stuff. You do need a sink. Uh, but it works, uh, if, at least in my experience, that's what I do with my personal mouthpieces when we're doing them here. I use some of this stuff because we're often cleaning a lot of them at a time. Yeah. But the big takeaway from this is clean your mouthpiece. Um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to play better. It's going to yeah. last longer. Um, but make sure, uh, make sure you're doing it right. And, uh, and it, your mouthpiece will last you for a long, long time. And uh, keep playing well. Well, thank you very much, everybody. Uh, if you have any ideas of what you'd like to see us talk about in future tips and tricks videos, please leave a comment. Let us know uh, below, and we'd be happy to take some suggestions and do videos on what you like to hear about. Cool. Thank you guys so much. If you like the video, please hit the like button and make sure to subscribe. We'll see you next time. <laughs>